Hey guys, Dusty here. Today I wanted to talk about the difference and compare the Nova Blast 3 to the Nova Blast 3 TR. Uh, these shoes are very, very similar. I'm sure all of you watching this are familiar with or even run in a pair of Nova Blast 3s. Uh, it's one of the most loved daily trainers out on the market. And I feel like the Nova Blast 3 TR version is slept on. Uh, not a lot of people know about it. Not a lot of stores carry it. And today I'm going to talk about the differences between the TR and the normal version. So like I mentioned, these shoes are very similar. They're going to sport the same upper, same laces. Uh, they have the same midsole. The only difference between the two shoes is the outsole. So the normal Nova Blast 3 has a pretty smooth outsole. Yes, it's very durable. However, it does have a tendency to be a pretty slippery shoe or outsole on wet pavement. Then if we look at the TR version, the outsole on this shoe is a little bit more aggressive. It has quite a bit more rubber. It only adds a tiny amount of weight to the shoe. And the outsole on the TR version is going to be much, much, much grippier on wet pavement. And it can also handle some lighter hard pack trails. Now I suppose you could consider the Nova Blast 3 TR a door to trail shoe. Uh, I wouldn't take this on very technical trails and I certainly wouldn't use it when trail conditions get bad, like if you're running through mud or snow. But even on road, this TR version feels basically the exact same as the Nova Blast 3. I can barely tell a difference. I bet many of you wouldn't be able to tell a difference between the TR version and the normal version. It's just when it rains out and the pavement gets wet, you're not going to be slipping around in the TR version. Hey guys, it's me about a month after shooting the video that you've just been watching. And um, I'm rocking the Nova Blast 3 TR. And you can see I'm doing some trails. And uh, the shoe is fantastic. It's... Um, gripping really really well and um yeah i wasn't sure what my conclusion was in the video but uh i certainly prefer the tr version of the nova blast um yeah anyways uh back to the video and i didn't realize this until i made this video but the tr version is actually a little bit more expensive than the regular version so here in canada it comes in at 195 and in the us you're going to be paying 145 so that's a five dollar increase both in canada and in the us so for me do i have a preference uh, i will say in the summer months no i don't have a preference i would just use the nova blast 3 regular version all the time uh, it doesn't tend to rain a lot in the summer here and the roads aren't usually wet However, in the winter time, I'll bust this one out all the time when it's raining out over the normal Nova Blast because the roads are wet and I don't want to be slipping around. So ultimately, I guess it depends where you live. But if you're looking for a great do-it-all versatile daily trainer and you're going to be wearing the shoe in some wet conditions, I would definitely pay the extra $5 and get the Nova Blast 3 TR. So anyways, that was just a quick little comparison for those of you that were curious. If you had any more specific questions about either of the shoes, leave your comment down below and I'll get back to you. Like always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.